So EarthCam TV2 has just been updated and is now officially available on the Android TV application store. Now, what does this application do? EarthCam aggregates webcams from all over the world and brings them together into a single application. So whether you're interested in famous landmarks, beautiful landscapes, beaches, cities, really wherever you're interested in, I'm sure there's gonna be a webcam in here for you. Now, now the application is totally free, but you can pay a $5 annual fee to unlock some extra features. Now, let me start the application. And many thanks to EarthCam for sponsoring this video. And here we are looking at the Eagle Beach in Aruba, which I believe is in the Netherlands. But if somebody does know, please do leave me a comment below. And just what an opening scene, guys. I mean, especially in the current climate where travel is either not allowed or heavily restricted, isn't it nice just to look at a single application and admire some of the beauties or the wonders of the world that we live in? And here we are in New Orleans looking from the cat's meow balcony. So really lots of uh, different things in here. Now let me just move my face out the way because I want you to fully appreciate what we're looking at. Now, if you press up on the remote, this will basically allow you to see the different cameras. So here we can see we're currently on this one. But if I want to go to Times Square, I can click on that. And within a couple of seconds, we are now looking at Times Square in 4K. You also get to see the time, the local time of the region that you're looking at. And you also get to see the temperature of that area. So there we can just see 36 Fahrenheit at 5 p.m. in the evening. Now, if you press down on the remote, you get to see some extra information. So here we can just see some more weather information. We get some more information about the area and we get to also see some uh, top videos for that particular region. Now you can also add this camera to your favorites and also to the watch list, but that is one of the premium features which I'll show you in just a second. Okay, let's back out of that. So here we have the Chicago cam, uh, Cincinnati cam. Uh, we have a beach cam, let's try that one now. So here we are looking at a beach cam in Florida and it's just gone 5 p.m. Now if you press left on the remote, now we have a choice of the different categories. So let's say, for example, I'm only interested in animals. So I only want to see the webcams focus on that category. Here we have the elephant bathing cam. Uh, OK, so we have a bison cam, uh, lots of different animals in here. And let's look at the giraffe cam. Let's click on that. OK, so that's a giraffe cam in Greenville. And uh, let's watch that live stream. And there we are just watching a giraffe having its uh, early dinner or late lunch. I mean, just looking at nature or looking at animals, it can be very relaxing or therapeutic, especially in the current climate where people are not really going out as much as normal. Let's back out of that. So that was animals. Then you have sections for beaches, uh, cities. Now the landmarks is a really popular one because this will allow you to appreciate some of those famous and historic places around the world from this application. So here we can see the Abbey Road, and this was the road used on the cover of the Beatles 1969 album, Abbey Road. And let's have a look at that. Uh, it's just gone 10 p.m. so it's probably not gonna be much happening there now. Yeah, it's fairly quiet. And then we can just see a fox um, going out for a nighttime stroll. Okay, let's back out of that. Lots of famous landmarks here, guys. You've got Capitol Hill, you've got Brooklyn Cam, you've got a Dublin Pub Cam. I'm wondering what's actually going to be happening here because I guess during the lockdown it's going to be fairly quiet. <laughs> okay, so maybe not as quiet as what I thought, but yeah, so if you want to see what's happening in a Dublin pub, you can use this application, connect to this webcam and see what people are up to in the evening in Dublin. Let's back out of that. Now, whichever webcam you're on, if you press the right on the remote, we now get to see the menu here. So let me just take you through that now. Let's go to display settings. So this will allow you to tweak the interface of the application. So if you don't want to see the camera name, you can turn that off. You can turn the location off. Uh, you also have things like temperature. And for example, if I want to see the temperature in uh, Celsius, I can click on that and that will then update that preference for me. Uh, let's turn the views on for a second. Let's go back out of this, back again. So now when we see this webcam, we should also see the views. There we can just see on the bottom left there. Okay, let's press the right arrow again. Now here's a key thing in this application where you can create custom watch lists. So if I'm only interested in webcams of just certain landmarks or just certain places in London or in USA, this is where I'll create a custom watch list allowing me to see just those webcams only. So if I go into that now, 
So we can see by default, it will cycle between the cameras for every one minute. Uh, now by default, it's showing you the trending cameras, the featured cameras, and your watch list. So let's create a quick watch list now. So let's back out of this. And let's just pick uh, two cameras uh, for a test. So uh, let's go for this peer cam. Let's press the down arrow. Let me now click on watch list. That's now been added. Let's back out of that. So we have the peer cam. And I'm going to add in the Dallas Skyline cam. So let's click on that. Press the down arrow and click on watch list. So we now have two cameras in the watch list. I can now press the back button. Now press the right arrow. Let's go to the watch list. And there we can see guys, we now have those two cameras in my watch list. I can turn off the trending cameras, the feature cameras. And I now have these two cameras here. So if I now press the back button, I should see the first camera, which is the peer cam. And once a minute passes, I'll then see the second camera. And just while you're waiting, guys, let me just take this opportunity to say thanks to all of my recent subscribers, my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and now especially my channel members. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I will leave a special link in the video description so you guys can do that. And there we can see in the background, guys, that's now automatically moved to my second camera. And we can now appreciate the Dallas skyline. So that's how easy it is to create a custom watch list. You can go through all of the webcams, find the ones that you want, add them into a special watch list, and you can then enjoy all of your favorite webcams. And let's back out of that. Now you also have the option to add background music if you're into that kind of stuff. So again, let's press the right arrow on the remote. Let's go to the audio settings. Now we can see that some of these cameras actually have audio, so you can actually listen to the sound that the camera is recording. So I like to leave the option on. And if you also want some background music, we can turn that on. You can choose the kind of music that you're interested in. So, all right, and we can adjust like how much volume is on the camera and how much is on the music. So now as you're cycling through the cameras, you will get this background music and the cameras will automatically turn once it hits that one minute threshold. Now to install this application, it's very easy because it's directly available on the official Android TV app store. So if you just use my voice here, Earthcam TV. There it is, click on that and you can then install that directly from the Play Store. So wrapping up this video, guys, I do really like this application. It has a very, very nice and easy to use interface. As I mentioned at the start of this video, especially because travel is very restricted at the moment, what a great way to at least enjoy some views from around the world. The application is absolutely free, but if you do pay that small $5 annual fee and unlock those extra features and create your own private watch list. But I mean, the application is totally free, so you can give it a go. And if you want to further enhance your viewing experience, you can unlock those extra features. So that's all for this video, guys. Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.